Okay, we're going to do lesson 14-4, estimating liquid volume. Volume means how much is inside of something. So um, how much water is inside of here? <clears throat> how much water is inside of this water bottle? That's volume, how much, how much liquid is inside of something, okay? So capacity <clears throat> is the amount of liquid. <clears throat> so capacity is the amount of liquid volume that a container can hold. So what we're gonna look at today are milliliters and liters, okay? Milliliters is lowercase m, capital L, and liter is capital L. <clears throat> now, milli means, like, think of like a million, like it's little, 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 little liters, okay? Milliliters, little liters. So milliliter is much smaller. If you had this eyedropper filled <clears throat> and you dropped out, about 20 drops out of it, that would be one milliliter. So this is probably about it being filled. <clears throat> we'll, we'll play with some of them in class and you can get a better idea of it. But think of like an eyedropper, they come out one little drop at a time. 20 drops is one milliliter. So it's super, super small. And this is gonna be like a big water bottle because really like this normal size water bottle, um, if you look at it, is 500 milliliters, 500 mLs. So this is like 500 eyedroppers. If you took an eyedropper and you squeezed it out 500 times, you would fill this bottle. That would take a really long time. So one liter is gonna be about two of these, which is kind of like a bigger water bottle. Okay, one of your bigger water bottles is gonna be about a liter. Those big, huge containers that you can buy at the grocery store of soda, the big, huge ones, um, that's called a two liter. So obviously that container has two liters of liquid in it. So if measuring small amounts of liquid, would you use a milliliter or a liter? Like if you were trying to measure out the amount of cough syrup to take or the amount of um, yeah, the drops to put in your ear, something like that. Would you use milliliters or you, would you use liters? What do you think? I would think you would go with milliliters, little teeny, teeny bouts. When you're measuring a large amount of liquid, would you use milliliters or liters? If you wanted to know how much water was in your bathtub, I would say you might want to go with liters, okay? Or a big bowl, you'd go with liters. Okay, so would you use milliliters? That's ML or liters, liters, to measure the capacity of these objects. A spoon. So you want to see how much liquid fits inside of a spoon. Would you use milliliters or liters? Can you imagine pouring all of this into a spoon? This is a liter. So we, I don't think we'd wanna go with that. So we'd wanna do milliliters. And a big, huge water pitcher. Some big, huge pitcher that you would uh, pour a bunch of water out of. Would you use milliliters or liters for that? Liters, because it holds more than a bottle of water, okay? All right, so now let's look at this one. We want to look at this bowl over here. This is like a big, huge punch bowl, and they have some lemon slices on the top. Do we think this is 40 milliliters or four liters? Which one is a better estimate for how much liquid is in there? So think about your eyedroppers. Do you think you could take an eyedropper and squeeze it out 40 times and fill that huge punch bowl? Or do you think you would take like a water bottle and dump that out 40 times and um, fill up the water bottle? Uh, four times, excuse me, four times. Four of these or 40 eyedroppers. So could you fill a punch bowl using 40 eyedroppers? No. It would be like just barely full at the bottom. How about could you fill a punch bowl using water contained in four large water bottles? Yes. So the punch hole bowl holds, I would go with four liters. You could capital L. Okay. All right. Amber is making a large pot of soup. Would it be better for her to use milliliters or liters to measure the capacity of the large pot. Okay, again, Amber is making a large part of pot of soup. Would it be better for her to use milliliters or liters to measure the capacity of the large pot? Okay, a large pot of soup is going to be super, super big on the stove. 
Um, would you want to fill that with an eyedropper or would you want to take bottles and pour them in there? What do you think? Write down either milliliters or liters. I would definitely say liters. You don't want to, do, want to stand over the stove for five hours filling it with, uh, with by an eyedropper. So good job.